Hey there, sis. It's me, your younger, much more attractive brother. Um, hey, I just wanted to let you know that I, I got your list of things that you wanted to learn on the computer, and I thought um, instead of doing live one-on-one -on -one sessions, I'd record um, videos for you to show you how to do these things. Um, that way you can rewind them or revisit them anytime you want, um, and you always have access to them uh, in case you need to touch, you know, freshen up on some of the, the different lessons and things. And uh, for this, I just want to do a little introduction video and maybe show you a few things that you're going to see in the videos, um, in future videos, um, some, some tools that I use, but just kind of introduce them to you so that uh, you know what they are. And, um, and also you have this, you'll have the same capabilities on your machine too. So it'll kind of uh, introduce you to how I kind of work around on the computer. So hope you enjoy. So Joyce, this uh, first thing I want to show you is, um, is kind of the way that I launch applications or search for things on the computer. I use a tool called Alfred, um, which is free to download, but if you want to have some extra enhancements, it, it costs um, uh, money for that. Um, but, you, but there is also a, a, a tool called Spotlight that's just part of the operating system on the Mac that lets you do the same kind of thing. Uh, not quite as powerful, but it lets you do very similar things. So in order to launch this Alfred tool, I just hit Command Spacebar. And if you were to do the same thing on your computer, um, you would see um, you would see the spotlight search. And you'll see this black bar here. I can just start typing things in. So I can say um, like Finder, which is kind of the way to navigate your computer. If I hit that, you'll see it launches my Finder. Um, I can also open it up and I can say I want to launch uh, Safari, you know, because I want to go on the web. And then it'll launch Safari as well. Um, and then you can also do searches, like if you're looking for, like I could type CTC link, which is the project I'm working on. <clears throat> and you'll see a bunch of contacts uh, listed for CTC link. So it'll run through searches uh, on the computer. Um, and, um, you know, so you can find files or open applications. Um, the other thing that, um, that, I, that you'll see a lot is I use the multi-touch gestures on, on my computer and um, you'll see how the, the windows here kind of shrunk down. That's so that I can easily switch between applications um, because I need to find, sometimes I have a lot of applications open, so I need to find something very quickly. And so that's how I'll kind of initiate that and, and, uh, and find the, what application I'm looking for so I can jump into it. So those are the two kind of common things that you'll see. Um, and I'll just talk a little bit about the Finder window. And the Finder window I'll use a lot because uh, it's how you explore the computer and look for files um, or just you know create folders and, and file things on the computer itself. And you'll see I have mine set up so that it kind of goes to my what's called my home directory and it's got the little house up here. It says A Duckworth. So that's my home directory. So the applications I've installed, my desktop is here, my documents, uh, my download folder, I use Dropbox and Google Drive, so those are here as well. And then movies, that's usually where I store these kind of recordings that I do. Music uh, and pictures, and so we'll use this one a bit for some of the, the videos that I'll create. And then there's a public folder, which um, if you set up your computer for sharing on the web, you can actually share uh, files. And also if you have multiple people that log into your computer, this public folder is a way that you can share files with those people. So anyway, that's kind of just a real brief introduction. And, uh, and next we'll get into uh, some, of the, some of the activities that you're interested in.